Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Flamberge, a great sword with natural blood loss buildup, so I am going to be running it with the Occult Infusion. That way both my blood loss buildup and my damage output are being scaled for my Arcane stat. As for the stats, we have our 60 Vigor, we have the 30 Endurance because it's the minimum needed for both the weapons, armor, and talismans that I plan to showcase for today, and then we have the minimum requirement for the Strength and Dexterity of the Flamberge, and the rest of the points are poured into our Arcane to increase our damage output, and our Blood Loss Buildup giving us an AR of 590 with a Blood Loss Buildup of 107. As for the choice of talismans, we're going to be running the Shard of Alexander to boost all the different Ashes of War. I'll probably start a lot of the duels with the Ritual Shield Talisman to boost our defense at first until we get hit, and then we swap the Talisman off to the Shard of Alexander. And then we have the Claw Talisman to enhance the jump attacks. I love dual greatsword jump attacks, and I plan to use the Raptor of the Mist Ash of War as well, so we do want to enhance the damage on our dual jump attack. And then we have the Crimson Armor Medallion plus 2 for the HP boost, and the Great Jars Arsenal for the Equip Load boost. Now, taking a look at the moveset of the Flamberge, the two-handed light attacks are the vertical slashes, the heavy attack is the horizontal slash, followed by a secondary horizontal slash. It's not one of those unique heavies that change depending on how long you hold the animation, so just the regular horizontal slash. And then we have all the different running attacks, so we have the running light, the running heavy, and the backstep running attack. I tend to use the running light and the backstep running attack a little bit more, personally. The jumping light and the jumping heavy, both great options, although I tend to use the jumping light a little bit more just because it's easier for me to manually aim to hit multiple people, and I can also use it towards the end of the jump to get a panic roll catch. The rolling and the crutch attack are both slam down attacks with the sword. If I happen to land a neutral light attack, I can crutch towards the opponent to try to get a panic roll catch with the crutch attack. And then we have the dual wield moveset. The dual neutral lights have very high damage output, but they're a little bit on the slow side, so they're pretty easy to read. You definitely want to mix it up with the one-handed moveset as well. Try to keep your opponent on their toes so their timing isn't always set to dodge, just the slower moveset. Get some light strikes in there, stun them, then try to pull out the dual wield moveset to throw off their timing. The dual running attack has some really good range, comes up pretty quickly honestly, and often opponents will panic a roll a little bit early because you kind of lead by putting them behind you and then doing the slash, so I find this move very effective. The backstep dual attack, one of the best, you get a double thrust move on a greatsword moveset, so if you happen to land something like a light attack and they get stunned, you can reverse backstep into the dual thrust attack, very effective. The jumping dual wield attack has really high damage output, especially when paired with the claw talisman, and it can't be parried, so a very good opener. The rolling and the crouch dual wield attack is a consecutive slash, although it's a little bit on the slow side, so I would say it's most useful when your opponent's used to dodging some of the faster moves the set has to offer, then try to use that to mix up their timing to get them to roll a little bit early and you can catch that. As well, the Flamberge is a regular smoothing stone upgrade weapon, so you do have access to many different Ashes of War. I want to use the Barbaric Roar, actually, so we have access to that triple swing, followed by the heavy follow-up if we happen to land it. And I'm going to try to land this, especially since we have a lot of bleed buildup. I feel like if this does combo in any way from the stun, we can get some good blood loss buildup that way. And then in the offhand, we have the Raptor of the Mist, because I really do like catching people off guard with this. Then you just lead yourself into the jumping duel attack, doing very high damage. But yeah, that's all I really have to say about the weapon. Let's just see how it performs in the duels and in the invasions. Jumping into our first match, we have BRG. Hello there, man. Hey! They have a curved greatsword. We're gonna do our buff here. I really do want to see if I use the Barbaric Roar, if I can get a bleed proc off with a heavy attack, because three hits is a decent amount when you have 107 bleed buildup, so we'll try. We got two right there, uh, two hits so far. Let's see, roll catch with that one into a, a third roll catch? No, damn. Okay, so he ate the blood uh, pellet. Smart. Okay, six foot. He's probably really close to. Oh, I thought my backswing might hit on the bleed proc. <laughs> when you jump the fire. Oh, there's the bleed proc. Alright. Very fun fight, BRG. Honestly, yeah, that's very powerful. I never thought of uh, doing that with the flamers before. Moving on to our next battle, we have Saga who also seems to be wielding a greatsword. Uh, what greatsword does Saga have? We'll get our buffs going here. Eat our crab. I do enjoy greatsword fights. Oh, that kind of looked like the the Flamberge. Or is it a Claymore? No, it's a Flamberge. He's also wielding the Flamberge, cool. Flamberger off. I was actually debating going for a backstab right there, but uh, <laughs> I thought of otherwise afterwards. I don't want to use my Barbaric Roar. Oh, he's got an Occult Flamberge as well. What are the odds of that? <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> the Bleed Pellet. Wow, that must have did a high number of bleed damage. Well, a bleed buildup. That as well did. <laughs> I haven't had to use a Blood Pellet yet. I don't know if I'll have to. 
I might do something interesting here. I really want to hit the double to see like how the bleed build up procs. Ah, that wasn't good enough hitbox. Smart idea going for the follow up since I always do go for the roll catches. One. Oh, no. No even ghost hit there. Okay, this time we might use a blood ballus. There we go. I also might go for the Raptor of the Mist play. <laughs> oh, we didn't get a trade there. I was really hoping to get a trade there. This is going to be us just like avoiding the ballless damage or the bleed damage. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't think that would hit him. He's probably got a lot of blood buildup right now, though. We missed out on the, the buildup. <laughs> this is a really good fight, actually. It's really interesting to see someone wielding the exact same build as you. <laughs> Although he's using one, where we have two. Using one might be a little bit better in terms of like roll catch potential. Two is a little bit slower. It depends on the situation really, but... Uh, <laughs> oh damn, that's really good build up. Avoid! Okay. <laughs> Maybe we'll go for the dual wield hit here. Hey there. <laughs> Hey there. <laughs> I wanted to get the blood build up, but uh, I didn't want the backstab attempt though. That was kind of sad. Oh, we took a trade. Oh, we popped his tier. Okay, we can't allow him to hit us with the blood build up while our uh, bubble is there. Okay, now ours is popped. Interesting. Oh, we got the blood build up right then. Unfortunate because he dodged it. Ah, that was a good play, but not executed well enough. Avoid the bleed. This is a really good duel. I'm enjoying this saga, honestly. Ah, the trade finish. We almost traded on every hit. Spacing was great, Saga. Very interesting that I th I'm pretty sure he was running an occult flamberge as well. <laughs> Very cool duel. Jumping into our next battle, we have Vey. Hello there, Vey. Interesting fashion, got dual straight swords. Um, get our buff going here. I don't know what build they could be rocking. Um, higher stamina, okay, so they like to attack aggressively probably then. They wanna have high stamina. Or maybe they just use a lot of jumping dual attacks. It's hard to say. Oh, they have fast roll, okay. This is a good time for me to be using Storm Stomp then, to be completely honest. I can trade into the attack and uh, get a guaranteed hit off and if I have their blood meter high before then... Ooh, we can't even get a roll catch with the dual wheel attack. Okay, so we can kind of just roll out of most of our stuff. He's got double slash. I think it's a little bit higher latency as well. We did get that hit though. Um, I don't know if that... I think that was just one of the swords. I gotta keep the blood meter high here. Oh, he's kind of got a little bit of packet loss. <laughs> to be honest. Oh! 1300 damage okay we're just gonna oh man he's kind of like uh packet loss running <laughs> oh jeez okay let me just jump in there just gonna get close i don't know how to aggress this we'll try running r2 <laughs> we just have to hit once but it's looking like that's gonna be difficult <laughs> anytime he gets close maybe we'll just try to trade the storm storm because i can't tell with his uh, connection where he's going to be. Okay, I think we did it. <laughs> oh, wow, that's... Oh, oh. <laughs> he disappeared. Well, that, that was interesting. All right, jumping into our next battle, we have Crispy Cruncher. Hello, Crispy. Hey. <laughs> Eat the crab. Oh, that's the pickle. The pickled turtleneck, right? It's the stamina boost one. <laughs> We're buffing really close to each other. Woo! That looked a little bit interesting. It's got the lightning buff. I tried to punish it. The timing on that is a little bit interesting because the after strike of the lightning is there. So I need to worry about that a little bit. Try to hit him with a slow do wheel attack. Yeah, for the follow up. Oh. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> I kind of, I'm not going to lie to you. If that was a tactic to look like a packet loss or a disconnect, <laughs> that kind of worked on me. I almost fell for it. <laughs> it was interesting. Oh, that's funny. We do have the bleed build up. Oh, we did get a bleed proc there. Oh! Oh, I think he stopped moving right then. Very fun fight, Crispy. 
<laughs> interesting tactic. I also like the use of the great axes. They're actually really interesting now. Next up, we have Everything's Fine. <laughs> Hello there, Everything's Fine. What's up? Got a curve, great sword, I see. Um, okay, interesting. So I can get the buff. Got the crab. All right, we're good. All right. Now, what Ash of War do we think is on Everything's Fine here? Okay, we have a, a tiny bit of latency. I'll watch out for that. The strike took a little bit longer and they rolled afterwards. So my timing. Oh, Wind Blade. Okay, well, we have Raptor of the Mist. I really want to try and get a Raptor of the Mist off. Don't know when would be the best time to use it. They kind of missed. No. Oh, that hit. Wow. I didn't think that was going to hit them. That was very surprising, honestly. That as well. Yeah. This will be an interesting fight, to say the least. Ha! Ah. <laughs> we missed. All right, now we swap it up. We go back to our uh, Storm Stomp to try and get a trade. We got that. We should get this follow-up as a hit as well. Oh, they dodged the... Oh, uh, we got the Blood Proc, though. Oh, they're dodging that well. All right, back to the Raptors. Oh, that would have been great timing, I feel like. What the? That thing has no range whatsoever. How is that possible? <laughs> How did that not hit me? They, like, clipped my toe. That's so sad. And then that missed him. <laughs> okay, that was a very interesting fight. Everything's fine. That, that 360 running heavy uh, is never my favorite. <laughs> Jumping into our next battle, we have Asterion. Hello there, Asterion. Got two great hammers, I believe. Hello. Kind of scary, not going to lie. Oh, he wants to pop my defense. You can use your buff, Asterion. I was waiting. Are you sure? Okay. We go in with the... I wonder what kind of build he's running. Strength, most likely. Backstab attempt. Was made. Did not connect. Maybe a sword dance after a jumping attack. Possibly. They do drive by. They both miss. <laughs> okay, uh... Oh, Beast Roar. Okay. I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Trying to find an opening for the sword dance. Also, the Raptors of the Mist could be a really good option as well. Oh, that was good. Very good. It's got really good bleed buildup as well. I don't know why I did that. I thought I had my Raptors of the Mist on my... <laughs> selected as my Ash of War. <laughs> well, that was my own bad entirely. Good damage, man. Very good. Can I backstab that? No, Phantom Hit. <laughs> that... <laughs> That was the worst mistake I made. That was so funny, honestly. Hilarious play, Chase. Can we bring it back, though? Find out. <laughs> we kind of brought it back. <laughs> so far, anyway. We got that was a lot of damage, and that's why Raptor of the Mist can be so damaging, honestly. Uh, maybe we'll swap it to Sword Dance now, now that he's a little bit afraid. <laughs> oh, both missed. Okay. Ah, uh, very fun fight, man. You had a great jumping L1 in the middle of that fight. <laughs> and I face tanked it with this. Oh, that was great. Alright, jumping into our final battle, we have Wretch. Hello there, Wretch. With the Blasphemous Blade and the Dung Eater cosplay. Uh, not wearing the helm, though. Any particular reason for no helm, uh, Wretch? Oh, maybe it's too heavy. Oh, he's got, like, a different helm on. I think it's, like, the Skeleton Helm, maybe? All right. <laughs> I'm always down for a cosplay fight. That's well, some good roll catches potential with the, with the flame. Oh, my God, the bleed buildup. I wasn't expecting that right there. Sword Dance. That actually hits. Wow. Well, you know what? I appreciate the Dung Eater cosplay. <laughs> Always a fun fight. Alright, now let's just see how this performs in the invasions. Jumping into our first invasion, we are in Storm Hill, and I have a teammate invader, but they are uh, looking like they're about to die to D's. D's got them, unfortunately. Uh... Are they... Above? Oh, they must be above. Rough spawn for me. 
<laughs> yeah, I definitely wanted to spawn where I was. That's that's always good. Okay, I'm up top this time. Wow, they were actually far from me. Okay, we also have a teammate invader, and I he's already fighting them. What is my spawn, by the way? Could I just <laughs> My teammate gets a spawn on the other side of the map. I get a spawn. Hello there. So that was a nice no damage backstab. Just what I've always wanted. Indeed. The no damage backstab. I've actually never seen that before, by the way. There goes zero. <laughs> teammate down. We'll just take that free heal. Ah, right, these. Me and you. Oh, you hit me out of the air. Unfortunate. Okay. Let's get our Royal Knight Resolve going on the offhand so we can use both. <laughs> Trying to mix it up with the timing here. My teammate's a wizard, though. That could be kind of useful. As long as he doesn't hit me. Oh, beautiful, actually. Very good hit. Ooh, the blood proc right then. Unfortunate. Oh, the oh the blood proc into the beam. All right, good teamwork, Panda. Very fun fight. Moving into our next invasion, we are at Mount Gelmir. Hello there, wham bam. Hello, hello guys. How are we? Sniper. All right, Madness Snipe through the lava. There are three of them. There's a, there's a colossal sword here. But there's also a giant lava demon. And it, I'm pretty sure... Oh, there's some packet loss as well. <laughs> Got a little bit of everything in this invasion. A moon veil as well. Can't forget the moon veil. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, I'm stuck here. Wham bam, I don't want to kill the host first. I kind of want to go for the wizard. Hello there. Hello. Boom. You almost got wham bam killed, wizard. Oh. Oh, I didn't see the rivers of blood there. I'm dying to the lava. <laughs> I did not see that he also had rivers of blood. Hosty, hello. Got hit by the madness snipe. Boom. The bleed. Oh, the moon fail. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Alright, we're not the highest on health right now, but... Ah, oh, yeah, that can really hurt us pretty badly. I gotta watch out for that. You know what? I'm gonna boost my Ash of War damage. Hello there. Why did that do no damage to him? Hey there, Moonvale. This is chaotic. <laughs> this is so chaotic. I can't see through the lava. <laughs> Raptor of the Mist, the one with the moon veil. Oh god, that demon though. Don't hit me, please. Too much. <laughs> Too much happening. <laughs> I need FP. That might not kill me because I have bubble tier. Nice. Did do a lot of damage though. Nice. Oh my god, this lizard. It's behind me as well. What do I do? Oh, damn, that hurt. Follow me this way, hosty. One died, which means I get a health. The clutch whatever phantom died. I love it. Catch the panic roll. Interesting. Packet loss right at the perfect moment. Ah. No, that thing can hit me. I gotta watch the hell out. I love you as well, sir.
Whoa. He's got two HP. He must die. Oh yeah, a little bit of latency there, but we got him. <laughs> now it's just the host. Wham bam. He's trying to get me before I can heal. That's not gonna happen though. It's not gonna happen. We're gonna actually be tactical here. Only got one flask, and that lizard hurts us all. So we got a little bit of regen going here. A blue summon. This is turning out to be pretty chaotic. Where's that blue gonna be though? Could be right behind me. Gotta watch out for that. Maybe running towards the boss. Oh, there's the blue. Oh god, not a blue. In my hour of no HP, I must finish him off very quickly. Is the goal here. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no dragon breath right then. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Hunter! Whoa! Whoa! You, you have power I know not of, apparently. Oh my god. Really, boss? <laughs> he was like running in slow-mo and not completely stopped, but like... Okay, he's got severe packet loss. That's kind of rough. I'm not even going to deny to you. That's going to be a tough fight for me, to be honest. I don't know how I'm going to predict the packet loss like that. Like, I can kind of tell when his animations are glitched out. Oh, is it because another summon got... Another blue got summoned? So it's every time there's a, a phantom jumping into his world, it seems like. I can roll catch that at least. There we go. Very fun fight, wham bam. He just had a lot of people coming in and out of his world, I guess. You're a sulfur. Hello there, Mr. Blue. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty good one. All right, jumping into the final invasion, and we are in Faramazula. Hello there. Do you not know I'm immune at the start? I don't think I'm immune long enough for that now. Hello there, shield. All right, I need to... Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Hit that wall for me. That's not what I wanted either. What am I doing right now? I'm trying to two-hand this to do this. There we go. <laughs> okay, that doesn't work against the shield that well. Ow! <laughs> you did jump on my platform with me on it. Good trade. I'll take that trade any day. I'm deking. Really well, apparently. <laughs> we got the bleed proc. Almost killed both of them in the process. Oh wow, that roll catch chain. Very fun fight, guys. <laughs> Interesting that the, the summon is just using a shield. Wow, that was a fun one. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Flamberge. I hope everyone enjoyed the showcase. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I utilized throughout the showcase, and of course, keep throwing your weapon recommendations below. I really appreciate it. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. Thanks for watching and enjoying the series so far. Goodbye. Goodbye.